Here I am with my dog, Saru, and we're about to show you a bit more you can do with Sculptio. All right, swipe over and away we go. Uh, actually, what I want to show you is uh, just some refreshers, maybe some ideas to help you. Um, some things that might be extra that you, or things that you might not have thought of and to combine. So I'm going to come back to this guy later that I've been working on just to show you how you could get there. Scene, add sphere. Um, remember that E allows you to transform or move things around. And uh, I'm going to do some flattening, some uh, dragging. So let's see, let's go ahead and uh, I like to um, build up just to give it some expression, build up snout there, all right, and then uh, build up some more. A f inflate is a good thing too that you could use to build this up. Here we go, and then I could drag, uh, eight, drag, so I can drag the snout out a little bit, drag that head out, and of course the bigger this thing, the bigger that um, circle, the more it drags can pull things in. Uh, let's see here. Pull that back and I'm going to uh, drag out the body. So you can see um, how I kind of got that one back there. I was just flattening and dragging, stretching areas, uh, moving stuff. Okay, I think I'll do uh, some inflating here where I might want to put uh, legs. I could grab this area, make this bigger, grab that, drag that. Oops, I still want to inflate. I want to go to uh, drag. Drag this down. Drag that down. I'm going to zoom out so I can drag more of it down. Okay. Maybe go to my move. Make that bigger. You got squashed. Move that in a little bit. Uh, in one of the videos, I showed you how you could add extra eyes in. In a different video, I showed you how you can use the mask to create. Make that smaller here. Use the mask to create. Um, make that smaller still where the teeth could come out. Uh, in a different video, I showed you how you could, uh, how you remesh. So right now you can see this kind of looks wonky in here because it really needs some remeshing going on. So if I control and click out here and everything but what I just painted is, is masked or protected, and now I can go back to my drag and I can drag some teeth down. There we go. Zoom back out, control, click and drag, and that unmasks. So you can see how you can quickly start to get something going. And then I would topology, reminder how to do the remesh, remesh it. So now it's going to give me some um, pixels to work with up here that got stretched out and so on. Now I want to show you a few more things in this other one. So I'm going to get rid of this guy. Uh, this one is selected, so scene, and I'm just going to delete the selection and work with this right here. Uh, a couple things. There we go. Uh, if I click on these two, this is from a different video where I showed you how you can insert eyes. Uh, let's see. You know what? I'll show you this too before I get to that. Go to one. You can, okay, my brush. You can um, sculpt right over the top of those eyes that you set in. So you can see right now, I'm building around and those eyes aren't affected. I'm going to remesh because I don't like how that little, um, how that's looking right along there. So I'm going to remesh. And then I'll probably go back and smooth that out. There, that looks better. All right, that looks better. Go back into my brush tool so I can build up. And you can see it's following along that ball, but it doesn't actually ruin the ball, the, the eye, right? I can do a crease, it's three crease, 
six is crease, seven is crease. So I can do a crease along here. Oop, give me a little bit more to crease. Crease. How much do I have negative? Ah, shoot, I have negative on. Sorry, that's why it wasn't working. Yeah, check to make sure that you don't have your negative on when you're doing this kind of stuff. All right, so um, back to the eyes. I'm going to select with this eye, shift, select the other eye, and you can uh, change the material you're working with. So right now I'm working with Skin Hazardous. I could change it to white. So now I have completely differently colored eyes. And what if I go to uh, 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 Pearl? And this one to click it to Pearl. Pearl. So that gives it a different look. Or what if I do matte cap? Instead of matte cap, what if I go to PBR? Would that change it? So it looks like it kind of gives it a glowing effect because I'm in Mapagalgalnagaveld. What if I went to a winter river? What would that give it? So you can change you know, the materials that each little thing is made of. I'm going to go back to uh, matte cap. And I'm gonna, there we go, pearl. And I'm going to uh, paint it with how about something like that and paint all. And paint it all. Okay. So there we go. Now, um, I'm pretty good with the eyes. So what you'd want to do then is you want to join. If, if you're all set, um, you could join these things together. I'm going to show you with something else though, because I think I want to goof around with those eyes some more. I'm going to show you with the body here. I'm going to add some uh, material that I could use to add legs. So scene, add sphere, and E to move that around. So if I wanted to, I could build a helmet, but I'm not going to build a helmet. I'm going to use this for, so I'm going to use this to make um, arms and legs. So I'm going to take this red one and, whoops, give you, there we go. I'm going to flatten that, and I'm going to flatten this one too in that direction, and flatten it. There we go. So now move it. Okay, look at it from the top. Push it in a little bit. Look at it from the side. Move it down a little bit. So what I can do is I could build, move backwards a little bit, I can build this as a leg that drops down, but I want it to be the same on both sides. So what I'll do is I've got this guy, scene, um, copy selection, and now I'm going to paste it. How to paste? Isn't it uh, control V to paste? And there. You can see what I've done there. Bring it back in. Look at it from the front. Now let's, I'll just eyeball this. Look at it from the top. Now I'm going to take all three things, the body and the legs, and I'm going to merge them all together. Scene, merge. So now those are all part of one thing. So if I were to smooth this out, let's go to smooth. Okay, let's go to brush first so I can just build it a bit more. So those things are together now. So now I can build up where it connects. And but if I go to smooth now, there we go. smooth, smooth, I'll do some more smoothing in that. Now it should be, if I go to E, it should all move together. Yep. Now what's that stuff hanging out down there? Oh, <laughs> those are the eyes. <laughs> when I moved them, I moved them up from the eye, so I'm going to put that back in again. And there we go, back to the eyes. So some things to think about. You can add parts and then you can uh, join them. So that was under scene and um, I would have to select an eye to show what it looks like. So if I wanted to join those, the eye with the body, scene, and merge selection, so then it would actually be together again.
But now I can start to work on uh, building in some legs. So drag and X, move that down. And now I can, whoops, too small. Now I can make some legs for them. And I can pull out some feet and so on. And I think I'm going to join the eyes together. All right. Things for you to practice. Go back and review all those videos or review the different tools. Start to make something that has a body, that has legs. Scene and merge selection. So now the eyes and the body are all together. So I should, if I move this, it should all stay together. Let's make sure it does. Nope. Try it again. One. I wonder if. Oops. I'll give it that. One, two, scene, merge. E. It wanted to make it all the same material. There we go. Now it's all together. Uh huh. See, if it doesn't work the first time, try it again. So now it looks like it all wants to hold the same material. All right. Yeah, everything's pearl. All right, we'll flip it back to clay.